Applejack is the original authentic American spirit. So before rye whiskey, before bourbon, this is what Americans were drinking. Before that, there was rum. Everybody was drinking rum in the colonial days. And then we had this little issue with the British, right? Uh, where we decided we weren't really down with being British anymore, so we were gonna go be Americans. And at that point, the British uh, kept all their rum. They had all the distilleries, they had the trade routes for the sugar cane. So our forefathers had to come up with something else. So before they figured out rye whiskey and bourbon, uh, they went into Applejack. Uh, Applejack is uh, something that would naturally kind of come to them because they were farmers, most of them. Farmers always had an orchard. Uh, orchards were very versatile on the farm because they produced fresh fruit for cooking and eating raw and baking and things like that. You know, they would make apple cider out of that fresh fruit and they would keep the apple cider in, in wooden barrels just as a matter of practical storage. Uh, in the winter time in you know, at our area and points north of us, it would freeze. Uh, so they would have to remove the ice to get down to that hard apple cider again. Um, and everybody enjoyed hard apple cider a lot more than just the regular fresh cider, of course, because by that time there's a little alcohol content, a little CO2 carbonation going on. Naturally happened with wild yeast. But in the wintertime it would freeze, they would have to remove the ice to get back down to the apple, apple cider. Uh, every time they removed the ice, they were just removing water. Uh, the alcohol wouldn't freeze, of course, so the alcohol by volume was going up substantially. Uh, that process is called freeze distillation or jacking. So that's how Applejack got its name. It's definitely been made here in Lynn Township, Heidelberg Township, Albany Township, uh, both legally and illegally uh, since 1777 or so, even before that. There's a, a side effect that comes from freeze distillation and drinking too much alcohol that's been done in that method. Um, there's a couple of side effects. One of them is blindness and one of them is death. So two bad things, right? Uh, and the reason that that would happen is because methanol is a, is a terrible thing for us to ingest and it'll make us go blind or, or dead. Um, so when you do freeze distillation, methanol freezes at a lower temperature than ethanol. So you're always going to have a methanol mixture in with that ethanol. So what we do is, is, is this process here, which is a very tried and true and safe process. The bottom line with this method of distillation, which is done by heat instead of by freezing, you're separating components of a whole by boiling point, right? Well, methanol boils over prior to ethanol. So you can capture that very early in the run and keep it out of the finished spirit.